I picked this hammer drill up on clearance at Lowe's for $37. It's the Matabo Triple Hammer. If you ever watch uh, Kyle at RR Buildings, the guy who builds all the post frame stuff, if you haven't, you should check him out. He swears by this drill. It's like, and he'll put it up head to head with the Milwaukee's, DeWalt's, Bosch, uh, Festool, all of them. And it's one of the fastest drills he's, he's got. 30, 37 bucks on clearance at Lowe's. So then they also had another hammer drill uh, package that was on sale with the, it came with two batteries, a, what size is this? Um, this is a two and a half amp hour. And then there was another one, I think a smaller battery first. It was marked down to 70. So I paid 70 for another drill and a battery and then 37 for this. That's steel. Fellas, here she is all assembled. I thought these were pretty cool. These, uh, the way these brackets work to mount, to hold these uh, sprayer nozzles. There are two pieces that sandwich around it. And then it fits in a slot there. That's pretty cool. Um, the boom is a little tight to push on out. I suppose once it's mounted on the tractor, it'll be a little easier, but do this one too. Kind of wants to move the whole thing. Oh, oh come on. So there she is. I tried to. I was concerned about this spot, but I think it's okay. It's there's, it's pretty loose. You can get it in there. I imagine if it sits there and rubs on that, but if you put it up above, the spring will hit it. And if you put it down below, this it'll get caught on this nut every time. So I'm not sure if that's the exact way to mount it. it seems to be working so far. I got that tightened down. All that. There was a guy on one of the tractor Facebook groups that I'm on who said not to tighten these bolts down right here. This one and there's one right up here. Because he said 
that if your yard is really bumpy and you have these too tight, I guess it can crack the tank. Is was his experience. So let me know what you guys, if anybody else has had that happen to them. Um, got the wand mounted. These on. So yeah, went to went together pretty easy. There. She's good to go. Looks fun. to spray some weeds. All right, guys. I just got the sprayer put on the tractor. Uh, we're gonna go fill it up with water now, and we're gonna check the spray pattern. So what I'm, how I'm gonna power this is the. I got one of these uh, cigarette lighter, 12 volt plugs that goes to an SAE connector with an inline switch. I thought about mounting a dedicated switch up front and running all the wires, but, and I may do that eventually, but I, I had the thought of using this little uh, 12 volt outlet in the storage compartment right here. And I think that'll actually work out pretty good. So my plan is I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around this. A couple times. And then we can come up over maybe here. And then come around through here and then I can just plug this in right like that. I think that'll ride pretty good. And boom. Spread out. We're, I'm going to squirt it right here on the driveway and we're going to get a kind of an idea of what the the spray pattern looks like. We'll just turn the tractor on and now we'll turn the pump on and see. Let it get primed up. Alright, so that's primed up. <laughs> That shuts the boom off. Get close up to this. That spray tighter. Okay, I'm gonna drive forward just a little bit now. pressure adjust right here. If you turn that all the way down, it puts it into a uh, circulate mode. So if you dump your 2,4-D in there or Roundup or whatever, when you need it stirred up, you just put it on this uh, in line with the, the hose here. And your pressure adjusts for a little while and that'll mix it up good. And then when you're done, you turn it to full pressure and you're ready to go. You turn your boom on. I recommend parking it on the side of a hill. 
so that you can, uh, so it all drains out of there.